OnePlus 6, a flagship quality phone for a lesser price, wasn't the only device OnePlus had in store for us over a month ago. The OnePlus Bullets wireless headphones are Bluetooth headphones that seem quality with some interesting tweaks that make them really interesting. And that's not just me saying that. Very shortly after launch, they were immediately out of stock. And I saw a few days ago they were in stock again, and then they were right back to out of stock. It appears even OnePlus has underestimated their immediate popularity. This could be because of the hype that OnePlus does such a good job of building, or because they didn't build enough units. Not that OnePlus would ever do that. So are these $69 Bluetooth headphones the real deal? Or just hype kinda gone out of control? I'm Titus, this is the Search for Awesome, and this is my OnePlus Bullets wireless review. The review isn't wireless, that's just their name, the OnePlus Bullets wireless. That's kind of a dumb name, isn't it? Why not like, wireless bullets or Bluetooth bullets or... First off in the box, you get some documentation, plenty of ear tips and hooks in a variety of sizes, a ridiculously short USB-C cable, a carrying case, and the headphones themselves. And that carrying case that they include is really cool. It's got like these little magnetic tips at the top that close it shut. But I have not actually been able to get these headphones in it once. It seems impossible. If you have any idea how to do this, I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. But surprisingly, no dash charger. The one you see here actually came with my OnePlus 6 that I reviewed in my previous video. Despite that shortcoming, the OnePlus Bullets Wireless... Why is that the name again? The OnePlus Bullets Wireless have a really unique design. They are metallic black with a red ring accent, and the ends are sliced at a bit of an angle, giving them a really unique look. The left earbud's wire has a small remote with three buttons and a microphone. And the necklace part is made out of a quality rubber, like a matte material with one button and a white LED light. I really dig the look of the device. It's just quality. The necklace just droops over your neck and keeps your earbuds at the ready. As nice as it looks, I had my doubts about this design. I think most people use Bluetooth headphones for you know, working out and being active in general, and I didn't know how this necklace drooping design would hold up to that. Because if you're active, surely the necklace is going to give you some kind of problems. But to my surprise, they do really well. I did several workouts, and even when I'm on my back doing the bench press or sit-ups, the necklace just ever so slightly grasps your neck to latch on, and it isn't uncomfortably tight or anything like that. It's very comfortable and practical all at the same time. I even tried running with them just to test and they held up fantastically. This is the first time I've run in like a year. I did it just for this test. They, uh, they held up pretty good. I'd say unless you're doing something really crazy like parkour or something like that, these should hold up pretty well. And you can always tuck them in under your shirt if you're concerned they might fall off. And the earbuds themselves hold nicely, and I find them really comfortable. Because most of the weight is on your neck, they don't tug at your ears, and the hook is really unobtrusive, and just lightly wedges the buds into your ears. I hadn't seen a design quite like this on other Bluetooth headphones, but I gotta say I really like it. And the simple feature that really separates these headphones is by bringing them together, it stops whatever you're listening to. This one feature sold me on these. It's just smart and simple. And I thought it meant it just paused the music whenever you brought them together. But that's actually not what it's doing. It's actually turning them off. And then when you pull them apart, it turns them back on. This is actually way better because the typical Bluetooth headphones, you actually hold on the on button for a couple of seconds and then that's when they turn on. This is great. You just pull them apart to turn them on, put them together, turn them off. It's really seamless. It just kind of makes those old Bluetooth headphones just seem obsolete the second you do it. It's puzzling that other headphone makers haven't come up with this concept before. And the other innovative feature that separates these from the competition is fast charging that I alluded to earlier. Again, how is this not already a thing? Like seriously, I cannot tell you how many times I've gone to go work out, grab my headphones and they're dead. With these wireless bullets, just 10 minutes is supposed to give you 
five hours of charge. And this seems pretty accurate because just one minute of charging these and I had 30 minutes of music or whatever I wanted to listen to. And just three minutes of charging was plenty for a workout. This is just simply awesome if you're like me and forget to charge your headphones from time to time. In the time it takes to make a protein shake, they can have enough charge for my entire workout. And the battery as a whole is stated to last eight hours and that appears to be pretty accurate in my tests. I would have liked more to be honest, but eight hours should be way more than enough time for a day of use and they fast charge if not so you should be fine there too you can even use google assistant with these just a press of the button and there it is what is the weather like today you can't hear it but it's telling me the weather right now Ooh, ain't even sunny and this might not seem entirely obvious, but you can use these with any Bluetooth device, not just OnePlus phones, like even an iPhone if you wanted. Although that does feel kind of wrong and I will judge you for that. I also found range pretty good. I put my phone where my camera was and I just started walking just to see how far I could get. And this is how far I got. Uh, I was honestly really impressed with this because I can't imagine needing it to be any further. And on that note, I will also say that the reliability of the Bluetooth headset is pretty good. I have had a few encounters in my first month where it would kind of cut out a little bit here and there, but typically if I pause where I'm listening to and play it, it'll kind of pick back up. I would say like nine times out of 10, it is perfect. Now all this is great, but if they don't sound good, what's the point? I mean, these are headphones, right? And I think, these sound fantastic, at least for the price. It's a quality sound for sure. These do not sound at all like cheap headphones. I compared them to my Bose earbuds, my old Bluetooth headphones, and some M30s just to see where I felt they placed in my ears. All these headphones are great sounding headphones, at least to my ears. But if I'm being honest, I'm not exactly a headphone connoisseur. And after going back and forth and trying different songs, I think I can say that these sound great. In fact, I think I might like the sound coming out of these better than all of my other headphones. Headphone sound preference is kind of subjective. Some people like more bass, some people like more treble, some people like a more full sound, and I'll do the best job I can to try to communicate uh, why I like these so much. They are just clear and crisp. The bass isn't overpowering where it makes me feel like my ears are ringing. The sound signature is pretty flat and the sound stage is good, at least for an in-ear headphone, but there's only so much you can do with an in-ear headphone when it comes to sound stage. The old Teotronic Bluetooth headphones were good, but side by side, there is a clear upgrade in quality with the OnePlus headphones. I just heard more details in the OnePlus. The Bose sound sports add a little bit of bass and it kind of distorts the music, at least a little to my ears whereas the OnePlus keeps it crisp with a pretty flat sound signature. In the M30s, I mean, that was tough. This is probably the closest call, but the sound was really good in both. But considering these are earbuds and Bluetooth of that and much more convenient, and those are like big bulky over ear headphones, I gotta give nod to the OnePlus headphones. Again, I'm not a sound pro. That's really the best I can do. Uh, but if you do get these, I would love to know what you think. And lastly, the built-in microphone for phone calls isn't half bad either. I didn't have anyone complain that I sounded far away or muffled, or they just couldn't hear me. I even listened to a phone call myself and thought they were really good. Now I will say one of the biggest moments about these OnePlus Bluetooth headphones is that they're really hard to get your hands on. I've noticed since they launched, they've been out of stock consistently. They'll come back in stock for like a day or two and they're right back out of stock. So if you do want a pair, I would just kind of check in on their website every couple of days to see if they come back in. And if you see them, grab them because there's no telling if they're gonna come back anytime soon. So with all this, are the OnePlus Bullets Wireless worth picking up at $69? The price makes this conclusion really interesting because it places them right between much cheaper Bluetooth headphones and well below premium options like that of from Bose or Beats or Jaybird. At this price and with the features and the clear attention to detail that OnePlus put into these, I would say that these are absolutely a buy. I do not regret my decision 
whatsoever. I just think the quality of the audio, the really unique features, and just this slick design are just a steal at that $69 price point. I just wanna thank you so much for watching, and if you don't mind, would you mind hitting the like or the dislike button? Just let me know how you felt about the video. And if you really liked it and you like OnePlus gear, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. I have more OnePlus gear coming up in the near future that I'm gonna be doing some videos about, including the OnePlus backpack. And uh, I also got the wired versions of these. I'm gonna be comparing those against the Bose headphones that I compared these to earlier. And those are like $20 headphones, they're really cool. And if you have any questions about the OnePlus Bullets wireless, love that name, uh, just drop it in the comment section. I'll try to get to them when I can. And if you missed my previous video review of the OnePlus 6, I put that video up there. And if these OnePlus Bullet wireless headphones are a little bit out of your price range, I put a video down there comparing my old headphones, the Teotronics, uh, to some Jaybird Freedoms, which are a little more premium headphone. And uh, those Teotronics are like 25 bucks and a little bit of a spoiler alert, but they're pretty good. Thanks again. I am Titus. This is The Search for Awesome, and I'll see you next time.